What's up, Air Signs? Welcome to your full moon reading for December 12th, uh, 2019. So there's something super cool about this moon. Did you know that depending on where you are on the Earth, this full moon is going to be at its highest point on 1212 at 1212 a.m. So if you guys are like me and you got crystals and you want to really manifest your destiny, if you want to do whatever you want to do tonight and really tie into Mother Earth and the energy from the moon and the, the earth around us, the universe is telling you this is the night to do it. This is something that doesn't happen very often. And I really hope a lot of you actually get a chance to take care of it um, <clears throat> or actually get out there and do something tonight. It's going to be beautiful too, even if you are just a moon person like I am. I absolutely love the moon. I, I'm always amazed by it. It's probably because I'm a water sign and we all know the moon moves the tides. Anyways, air signs, uh, what do you say we get into your reading here? Um, as always, I'm going to use the deck. We're going to have three uh, three slots right here. So we'll have Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And then we'll do past, present, future for each sign moving forward. This is also a moonstone. If anyone is curious, uh, the crystals that I use. <clears throat> I like using special crystals uh, in different decks. I think it really helps infuse the cards with the energy of the universe and the influence of those crystals. Well, there you go, Aquarius. That's yours. And Libra. All right. Get that guy out of the way so I don't hurt my feather. That feather is actually from a trip that I took. Beautiful, beautiful water bird. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so since you popped out first, Aquarius, healthy boundaries keep me centered and balanced. So perhaps in your past, you've had some problems keeping boundaries with other people. Again, you're an air sign, so I wouldn't be surprised that when people overstep your boundaries, you feel a little threatened. So <clears throat> we'll see what the other cards say. But again, always important to keep your boundaries. Excuse me. <clears throat> wow, well, my, <clears throat> my throat chakra is getting blocked, so... Maybe that says something to some of you. Maybe some of you need to say something and you've not been able to. Gemini, for your full moon, we have collaboration brings more sweetness into my life and into the world. The honeybees. You know, random story. I was walking down the street over the summer and my neighbors had this beautiful garden in their backyard. They had these beautiful bumblebees just going through their flowers and I took a beautiful picture of them. <sighs> Poor bees. I really hope that we can help save this planet because if the bees go, we all go. Anyways, <clears throat> so what this card is telling me is that um, maybe you need to learn how to work together with other people. Geminis, I know you guys can sometimes be proud people, but there's nothing wrong in asking for help and learning how to work together with other people. Sometimes the minds of many can actually make something grow into fruition instead of just you trying to work forward on your own. Okay. And Libra, I have unlimited potential and claim my purpose. All I need is within me. Beautiful card. This actually came out in one of the other readings. So that is, uh, I kind of consider that the strength card, just knowing that you have what it takes no matter what um, you're going through right now. Yeah. Okay. We are going to use the Gilded Tarot. I haven't used it in a while. It's been resting. This is actually the first deck I ever got. Um, a lot of learners start with this. I love the imagery, but the cards are old, so they might stick a little bit for me. Right, can we get three cards for Aquarius? Whoa! That's a lot of cards! <laughs> well, this guy popped, so we're going to put that back down. I'll tell you what it is in a little bit. Jeez, Aquarius, calm down over here. All right, okay. <laughs> Had a lot to say, Aquarius. Can't wait for your reading this month. All right, <clears throat> Gemini, okay. And Libra. Wow, you just wanna keep coming out too, so. Okay. What do we have here for Aquarius from your past? Soulmate card, ding, ding. So you might be in a relationship or there might be a relationship on your mind right now. 
in the past, sorry, in the present, you have the Eight of Swords. So you might feel trapped. Remember, this is an anxiety card. This is all in your head, okay? You're an air sign. You sometimes overthink stuff. That's how air signs are. But be aware that you have put yourself in this mental prison yourself. There is always a way out, okay? <clears throat> and your future is the Knight of Wands. So movement forward towards something passionate here. Um, so healthy boundaries keep me centered and balanced. What this reading is telling me right here for you, Aquarius, is that maybe in the past you haven't been able to set up the boundaries that you wanted, but you have a romantic interest here and you feel a little burdened by it at this point in time because it's very passionate and it's very fiery and it's a little too much for you. It's probably a little too intense. So just... You don't have to give up on this relationship, but what you should do is just communicate your boundaries. If they're moving too fast and they really, really want you, they will respect whatever boundaries that you place in front of them. But you got to communicate it. If you don't communicate those boundaries, they'll never know that they're crossing over. Okay? <clears throat> Gemini. Past. Nine of Cups. So not feeling emotionally fulfilled. You didn't get your wish in something. This is the wish card present <clears throat> the devil capricorn energy so you might be procrastinating a little bit or you might be distracted by something or someone something is kind of keeping you off balance right now and your outcome is the ace of swords in reverse so a truth needs to be spoken but it's being blocked you remember when i couldn't talk throat chakra issue interesting um so what I'm hearing here is a wish didn't come true. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it has something to do with work or family. You're kind of all up in your dark night of the soul right now. Something is stopping you from being able to express yourself and feel confident in who you are. So what the moon is telling you, what the universe is telling you with this card is reach out to your tribe. Reach out to those around you that you trust. Talk to them about the issue that you're facing. Take their advice and try to work together to move forward towards a better outcome, okay? Once you learn how to do that, you'll be able to step out of yourself, the negativity will start to float away, and you'll be able to find your voice again and be able to speak your truth, okay? Libra, what we got over here? Past. It's the King of Pentacles, ultimate stability. Um, this is someone who is uh, generally you know, very stable financially, is magnanimous type of personality, very giving, uh, philanthropist type of person, very stable, very stable. In your present, we have the Two of Swords. Air energy, you feel like you're blocked, you feel like you're at a stalemate, you don't know which way to go. And in the outcome, we have the Seven of Wands, needing to defend your place in a certain situation. Okay, so either this is, again, it, these are not necessarily relationship readings. I naturally go to the relationship thing just because of the other readings I do. But um, what I'm reading here is that you came from a place of stability. You wanted stability. You were grounded. You wanted what, like, you, you, you had these expectations about how you wanted things to go. Something went wrong and you're at a stalemate. You don't know what to say. You don't know how to move forward. And because of that, it makes you feel defensive about what you want, okay? But again, the universe is telling you that you have all that you need within yourself. Some people just want to hold you back. Some people just want a little bit of the piece of the pie because they're jealous about what you have. Jealous people, people that are negative, that want to keep you down and not want to help you rise up are not people you want in your life. Okay, so just make sure that you're careful about who you keep in your tribe. You're careful about the people you share your energy with because you have unlimited potential. You have ultimate abundance. And yeah, you might have to defend yourself every once in a while, but just make sure you're not wasting your energy defending it to the wrong people. All right, we're gonna do some of the Norman cards. Just a little bit different because I haven't been using these in the other readings. So really like these guys. I'm still learning them. I'm using the book. I know. We got the tree. This keeps popping out. I get the garden again with this guy. I'm going to laugh. Boat. Movement. We got the stars over here. And the mouse. All right, so. Gemini, you got a lot of worry going on. 
got the woman and the girl. All right. Maybe it's telling you to get back to your inner child over there. All right. Over here, Aquarius, we've got the tree uh, means DNA, having getting back to your roots. Uh, but in combination with the ship, it means a journey of a lifetime, lengthy travel, healthy exploration, karmic or spiritual journey. So again, I was kind of picking up on a relationship here. You might have found a karmic soulmate, um, a soulmate, a twin flame, any of the variations in between, only you know. But <clears throat> if you want this to work, you need to make sure you're keeping your boundaries, okay? It will work. If you guys are destined to be together because of a soul contract you made in another life, you will be together. But it's up to you to maintain and balance your boundaries that you need to have a healthy relationship in this lifetime, okay? All right, the stars. The stars mean emotions, sentiments, hope, wishes, okay? When mixed with the mouse, we see doubt, worry, fear, a tainted reputation, and pressure to achieve goals, okay? So again, remember, collaboration brings more sweetness into my life and into the world. So whatever you're going through right now, you're probably really frustrated that things aren't going your way, okay? Reach out to the people around you that you trust. Try to work together and move forward. Again, you don't have to do everything on your own. Sometimes working together with other people can offer so much fruition into your life, okay? Trust those around you to help rise you up. Now we have the woman over here. The woman uh, is female, um, could be divine feminine if we're talking about, you know, the energies of the twin flame. When mixed with the girl, we see a woman with a child, a youthful woman, short woman, <laughs> young woman, start of a start or a new start for a new woman. Okay. Um, so again, we could be talking about a child and maybe there's pregnancy in your future. Or perhaps, you know, I have unlimited potential and I claim the purpose that is within me. You have the stability already here. You're torn. You don't know which way to go and you need to defend, you know, your points here. Perhaps there's a new job um, lingering for you here. And if that is the case, remember, all that you need is within you. Go within yourself. Trust your intuition. Follow your intuition. Intuition will never lead you wrong. Okay? Air signs, it has been beautiful talking with you all for this full moon. Again, remember to get out there, 12-12, 12-12. Ugh, when are you ever going to find that energy? Until then, I, uh, I hope to see you in a couple of days for the second half of December Love and Soulmate readings. And I hope that you all have a wonderful full moon season. Deuces! <laughs>